All right. So I know we covered what you should and shouldn't do, but what are the typical certifications that you see on some GRC job applications? And then we just do it real quick. We don't have to spend a long time. Yeah. On. So there's a debate go back and forth about your comp to your security plus. I think it's entry level. I don't think it's nothing negative to have. It's a nice foundational one to get in the door. I always see CISA. It's globally recognized and it focuses on auditing control. I like that better if you want to do like IT auditing. Mm-hmm. You, but IT auditing too is great with GRC too. Nothing wrong with that. It helps you understand controls and everything like that. But it's really domain focused. I would say that your CISA CRI CRISC. That's another one. It just helps you show that you understand how to lead projects, identify and mitigate risks. I love that. And then your CISSP, the big one, very comprehensive. But that requires you to have experience and so like that. Um, and be and endorsed by another person that got the CSSP as well. Yeah. <laughs> and CISM. I think those are the top ones mm-hmm. in CISM. That's more managing, though, uh, the more managing side of the information security. I haven't seen the CISS, CISM one on a lot of positions. I've seen them recently when I was doing some for some clients. But honestly, when they put together a lot of job things i think because i chat gpt everything possibly <laughs> or whatever they just put any type of certs that they feel like go for grc you know mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean that certs are defining what you know or what you understand or your foundational knowledge it just shows that you passed your test but can you actually yeah. do the work mm-hmm. for sure for sure and to clarify for the people when you're saying cisa you're saying charlie india sierra alpha yeah cisa yeah because you know, Contia got the C Y S A, but you can stay C. Oh, I, I'm C-S-A. not going to tell you what I say that, how I pronounce that. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm talking, yeah, specifically C I. Yeah, your, certifi- your certified information systems auditor, that one. Okay. Yeah, that's your domain ones. I think that's IT governance, systems, lifecycle management. That's five of them. Yeah, I took, so, yeah. Yeah, enough, though. My, ma- see, my master's is actually in IT management. So. Oh, okay. I took some of those classes, enterprise architecture, I think, and okay. those management classes. And I see a lot of that stuff, the stuff that I do. I don't really do this stuff on a day to day, but yeah. other jobs. So I've had to reach out to people and get buy in from the top so mm-hmm. we can do this process. We did the same type of things in master's uh, programs, which is why every time y'all hear me on here, I don't tell people to go get a master's, but I do love master's curriculums from yeah. good schools. From good schools, yeah. Over bachelors. Because that's another yeah. thing, too. They were having. It depends on the curriculum. Right. Because I don't think I would have got. I only did masters because I wasn't going back to a bachelor's. <laughs> like, I wasn't going to go back for to go do four years of work to go do that. Right. I was just like, I already have one. So let me go ahead and get it in this version. Because sometimes in your bachelor's, you get more foundational like work to do. And masters is like a high level overview of everything. It just depends on your program. So that depends also 